Hey, this is Rob at artforkidshub.com, and I got my cool, awesome kid with me. Chuckers. Chuckers. How's it going, dude? Get, uh, uh, uh. <laughs> what are we going to do today? We're going to draw an easy stegosaurus. An easy stegosaurus? And why do you think we should do an easy one? For the little one. For the little kids that are watching? Mm -hmm. Yeah, we did some hard dinosaurs the past couple times, right? Yeah. And we were feeling kind of bad because maybe some of our, some of our, the younger kids might not be able to do them. So we thought we'd do an easy dinosaur this time, right? Mm -hmm. Good. All right, so it's a stegosaurus. What does a stegosaurus look like? It has like spikes on its tail. Yeah. Has does this one walk on two, two feet or four feet? Four. Four. Yeah, he works. He walks on all four legs. So, first step we're gonna do. We always start with his head, usually, right? Mm -hmm. So, should we start with his head? Okay, we're gonna draw a hooked line like that. Good. And then we're gonna draw his mouth, and it's just gonna be a V-shaped. Yep. And then we're gonna draw a line that comes back under. And there's his head. And we could draw a little eye. Perfect. And his back is going to be really art, arched. And it's going to be a one big curved line. And we're going to start like on the back of his head, kind of like a mountain. Come up, back down, and then straight out for his tail. Is that cool? Good. Come back down. Ooh, we gotta mm -hmm. leave some room for his spikes. <laughs> I could do like little spikes. You're gonna have to, yeah, you'll have I, to do little spikes up I'm there. So to not do this big stuff. That's okay. No, you did a good job. So the kids at home can learn that they wanna leave a little space up here for those big spikes on the second source. So you do little ones, okay? And you can show them what happens if if they need to do little ones. So the next step, we're going to finish his tail, so we're going to come back like this. So can you do that, that part that's going to be his tail. Perfect. And then come down, and that's going to be one, one leg. And then over. Good. And we're going to draw a V. Upside down V, sorry. And then another line. And then a line up, and then his yes. belly, and we can finish his neck, bring his neck in, and then come down, yep, and then a line across. Did it. Oh, you did it? Good. I was waiting. And then an upside down V again, a line across, and then a line back up. And there's both his legs. Oh! <laughs> so that's all right. So draw a line up and then finish his belly. You got a little lost. That's okay. Oh, what's that? What's that? <laughs> he's got a square, he's got a square belly. <laughs> that's okay. So you'd want to come up like that and then you would just draw a straight line across to his other. other. That's okay. We kind of did it hard. So, all right. What's he missing? He just looks like a lizard, huh? Oh. Does he yeah. need his spikes? <laughs> yeah. All right. So, the first spike we're going to do is at the top of his up here. And you draw a little one, but I'm going to draw a big one, okay? And they're shaped kind of like a petal of a flower or a leaf. It looks like he's kind of had, like a leaf. It looks like he, he has one spike on his one spike on the top of his back. Okay, so go ahead and draw yours and it looks a little bit like a leaf. It's pointed at the top and then curved on the sides. Good. And then as so I'm going to do it differently. You can just try and make it work because you don't have room. But I'm going to make them smaller as they come down to his neck. Maybe the top could be the small one and then down could be a big one. Or yeah, something? you could do it the opposite. <laughs> See that? And then I'm going to draw them, do the same thing down the other side. Get smaller as they get closer to his tail. I 
can't really do No, it. you're doing great. So, Just practice them. Um, maybe like I could do like a little. Good. Uh, so you just draw a point and a curved line. And a point okay. and a curved line. Good. Mm. You even got sound effects going. I can't. <laughs> You're doing good. Just keep practicing. <laughs> do two more on this side, and then and then do a couple down this back. Yeah. <laughs> good job, Chuckers. That's awesome. You did it. So we've got one last step. We forgot one last thing. Spikes on. Spikes on his tail. Stegosaurus has cool spikes, and I think they thought that these were used for defense. So we're just gonna draw three spikes perfect and we'll do one more thing let's give him some toenails so we're gonna draw three bumps on each of his feet <laughs> oh, that's not a foot that's a square belly <laughs> Perfect. Chuckers, look at that dinosaur. He's awesome. So it was still a little hard to do the spikes, huh? So you could have, so the kids at home, if they have trouble with doing these, uh, the little spikes on his back, they could ask their parents to help them or just practice. You can watch the video over a couple times and, and practice it and you'll get better. Was that fun? Mm -hmm. Pretty easy, huh? Pretty easy. So hopefully the younger kids that, it, uh, watching this on YouTube, we'll be able to do this one. So, we'll, we'll, should we say goodbye? Mm. No? You don't want to say? <laughs> See you later, YouTube. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye, -bye. Bye, -bye. Bye, -bye. Bye, -bye.